Hello guys, welcome to my month 5 TSW update. Tonight we're celebrating my dad's birthday so we are headed to get some stuff for the party. We went to find the cake that my dad wanted but we couldn't find one so we just went with the Earl Grey tea cake. We then headed to the fish market to get some fresh fish to make sushi for the party. It was such a great day. Just look at the sky, like the clouds look so fluffy. This is the fit for the night. My boyfriend used to work at a Japanese restaurant so he knows how to prep the fish and make sushi and we all love sushi so much so it's been great that we can have it at home. And we made a buri as well which is seared salmon and also seared scallops. They're my favourite. Oh, that was so amazing. It makes me want to have sushi again looking at this. So my mom's colleague bought us gluten-free pastries because she knew I'm going through TSW and it was just so so nice of her. She went and bought it early in the morning before she went to work. I'm just so grateful to have the nicest people around me. Me and my mom decided to drive to the beach because I haven't been out of the house much and we figured that it'll be nice and refreshing to have fresh air and we love the beach so we decided to go to the beach we spent such a nice time there listening to the waves and chilling and chatting So 
last night I had the biggest sleep um, and what happened was I had I had a nap at like 4.30 and then I slept till 7 I woke up and I thought oh my gosh I'm not gonna be able to sleep tonight because I slept for like three hours and it's already seven. So my boyfriend was next to me and he, and I told him and he said, well, do you just want to like sleep and not have dinner or anything? And I thought that was a good idea. So that's what I did. And he was so sweet because I have all these things to prep before I sleep. I have to wrap my arms with bandages and I have to um, prepare my ice pack, wrap it in my cloth and um, get another cloth ready to wipe my oozy liquid during the night and I need a towel um, laid on the bed so that the flakes can fall onto it. So nothing was done and I was still like half asleep from my nap. I didn't want to fully wake up because then I knew that it was going to take so long to fall back asleep. So I, I was like trying so hard not to wake up so my arm, eyes were like closed and and then my boyfriend just got everything ready like without saying anything he got everything ready and he came to wrap my arms with bandages just the way I do it and he got me the ice pack with the cloth wrapped around and he got the towel to lay on the bed it was he was so sweet and um and then I ended up sleeping. It took me a little while, but I did sleep and here I am. I thought I was gonna wake up around like, um, like really early in the morning and I was even thinking of going to the beach maybe early in the morning, but I woke up at nine. <laughs> Crazy, that was good. I struggle to sleep every night. Um, I go in bed around 11 and I don't sleep till like 3 or 4 a.m. Maybe the problem is I'm not sleeping too early because I know that the cortisol levels rise towards the end of the day and that makes it hard to fall asleep. So maybe if I go to bed really early like 6.30, 7pm, maybe I can fall asleep before my cortisol level goes up. I'm going to try that routine okay so i forgot to mention this morning but i'm just gonna share something i've realized so when i took photos for my month three updates i noticed that my face wasn't as sharp and i just and i thought i gained weight because i had stopped working for like three months then and um you know i'm not moving around as much and i'm eating a lot so i thought that i gained a bit of weight and that's why my face wasn't sharp and you know like when you take photos do you you see that kind of stuff but then yesterday no the day before um when i was going to sleep i realized that my face was so like swollen and like puffy it felt like so puffy that i thought if i poked a hole somewhere something would burst out it was that puffy and i realized that my face is going through what my legs went through in like the first month of tsw because i had really puffy swollen legs um at the beginning of tsw and and I would get really weepy legs even though I didn't scratch them and that's what's happening to my face as well because at night the sides of my face get really weepy and my neck as well especially when I scratch it but even when I don't touch it it becomes weepy anyways so I realized that it's going through the same phase as what my legs were going through and last night when I was sleeping I noticed that my face felt normal again and right now as well so and my legs are back to normal now it's been like two months since i had weepy legs and hopefully my face would do the same and heal well because my legs healed quite quickly after going out of that phase you can see my face is very scabby but it's got less scabs than yesterday um so yeah i'm pretty happy with how it's healing flaky means it's good it's it means it's healing 
tonight we made crispy skin chicken and roasted veggies. Oh, it was delicious. Today I went to my parents' house to look for my childhood photos because I'm getting featured on a magazine and they asked for my childhood photos. It was so fun to look back at all these photos and yeah. I'll let you guys know when the magazine do get published. I don't know when yet. Hey guys, so I just came off a Zoom class and um, the master class was about mindset so it was really focusing on how the mindset plays a big role in healing and it really resonated with me so it was such a good class um, so yeah it's nine in the morning and it was an hour class so I started the day off really well today I woke up early and I've been can you see how my skin looks a lot better? I'm so happy. My skin's been doing well since yesterday and I feel that I am slowly getting out of the flare. So it's really exciting. I've been going to bed extra early. I feel like it's um, working well, even though I can't sleep straight away after I hop in bed. Um, it does take a few hours for me to fall asleep, but just by being in bed early makes a whole lot of difference because my body is resting even though I'm not sleeping and I think um, that my body is like able to switch off for me to then fall asleep before like 11, 12. Hey guys, so my face is looking a little bit scabby because it whipped last night but I have some very exciting news. I got invited to Eamon's new collection launch event and it's on in two weeks so I'll be going to that with my sister. So yeah, I'm very excited. It's actually the first time I'm like going to a social event since TSW so I'm a bit nervous to show up in front of people and socialize but I've decided that I'm not going to cover myself up I'm going to wear my hair in a ponytail and just be confident in myself instead of covering it up like by putting my hair down um, with a face mask and a hat you know so this event is all about powerful women working hard to achieve their goals so i'm really excited to meet people there and they said there's going to be a breathwork session as well so i'm super super excited i will be vlogging it so you guys will see how it is i'm filling up the bathtub right now to do the dead sea salt bath so i'll see you guys later Excuse my hair, it's crazy. I forgot I wanted to tell you guys about something. So last night I was in bed and I had like a wound. I had a wound on my leg and it was quite sore and it did have a bit of a scab over it, but it was still a little bit raw. And I accidentally picked on it and then it got a bit oozy. So I was trying not to touch it and then I slept. And then the next morning, so this morning, I looked at it and it wasn't oozy at all. And in fact, part of the scab was already fallen off and there was clear skin underneath it. And I was so confused because I know that it was raw last night and I woke up with clear skin, like the scabs were already fallen off. I'll show you guys what it looks like. 
So this bit here, can you see how I had a big scab all around here and now it's only got little bits of it. So I don't know, like my skin is, the wound healed super fast and I was really surprised and I want to talk about that. So I found out that my favourite organic dessert store, which I thought only took online orders, had a stockist near my place. It was like a 10 minute drive from my place and it was actually really close to where I used to live. So we went there to get some dessert. They're called Organic Whisk if you're interested. They use organic ingredients and they do not use any refined sugar and they're vegan and gluten free. So, and they taste amazing. Thanks for watching part one of my month five vlog and I'll see you in part two. Bye.